Okay, so what, what um, people can do to contribute to solutions of the ocean um, is certainly be aware of what, uh, get knowledgeable about the issues. But as an individual, you could um, participate in beach cleanups if you are in a coastal area. Um, if you are in a farming industry, you can make sure that you use, uh, that you control fertilizer runoff uh, and work for that. You can work in your communities in terms of uh, reducing pollution and runoff and uh, having uh, ground sewage um, uh, not enter the, um, the, the ocean and rivers and oceans. Remember that things that end up in our rivers often end up in the ocean. And so uh, even those who live inland need to be careful about how, their, how, how runoff enters the rivers, uh, not only does it contaminate the rivers, but how, potentially how it can contaminate the ocean. So there's a lot of things that when you can join citizen groups, you can talk to your community leaders, you can engage with stakeholder discussions, um, you can write your, your political leaders, um, uh, and work with the, um, uh, and ask questions, I guess. Ask questions uh, of the scientists and the scientific community um, to help uh, answer your, to enhance um, citizen understanding. Another area where we find increasingly interest is participating in citizen science projects. Get involved with a scientific project that involves um, citizen scientists. You're in increasingly hearing about how science can be added by actually having citizens participate in the scientific enterprise by collecting data um, and sending it back to us, um, to scientists for, uh, for data analysis. Mm -hmm.